Now we do the anteroposterior glide manipulation. Well, therefore, we also need a specific position. It is important that the head of the patient is outside the border of the table, because otherwise I can't do an anteroposterior glide. Therefore, it is also important that the bananas are in the correct position. Sometimes bananas are more positioned over here, but this is absolutely unpractical. Bananas need to be at the rear part of the head section so that you can put the head of the patient outside the table. So for this maneuver, I also have to remove the head support and then I support the head of the patient with my hands. So what exactly do we do? I have a nice contact at the occiput, a contact against my abdomen, I put a foot against the table, and then I have a contact on the chin. I flex some fingers and put them under the chin, and then of course I need to build in some traction. And how do I do this? Well, the other foot, I put it against the support, then I lose my balance, more or less, I hang, and under traction, we just do a knee flexion. In fact, I don't work with my hands, I, I don't push with my hands. It's the entity, it's my, it's my corpus. Everything goes down just by doing a knee flexion. That's much easier. Yeah? Uh, also, don't squeeze over here, that's not very nice for the patient, so make sure you have a nice contact. So, hand occiput, foot, chin. Flex the fingers, foot, traction, up, knee flexion, and that's it.